What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Star Ocean Anamnesis video. Maintenance actually ended early, so uh, you'll probably actually see this video if you're still up this late, like I usually am. Um, but yeah, so the banner is up. I didn't make a breakdown video because they didn't actually post everything on uh, their Twitter, so nothing's posted there yet, but if we can look at the stats here, uh, we will. So... As you can see, we do have the trans, uh, I believe it says transmogrified Alma's Descent, which is going to be the S Star Ocean uh, 5 event that we are getting with these characters. Obviously, we have a new Temple of Elements, which I won't be able to start doing until tomorrow because uh, obviously I've already done my three uh, missions of the day. And then we've got the banner and weapons. Uh, banner and weapons. We have the character banner and the weapons banner. Um, do they have the actual full stats down? They do. Okay, so we'll go over that in a second. So I won't need to make two videos. So Fiora and Relia from Star Ocean 5 join the fray during this campaign period. The draw raid and newest characters, blah, blah, blah. Fiore is an orb-wielding ace invoker who increases the party's damage and her own AP cost through skill chain. So that's actually really good. And Relia is an ace healer who can heal the party's HP periodically and increase the party's AP recovery speed at max HP. That's also really good for a healer, but I went so ham on um, Precious, so uh, getting her maxed out. So even if I pull Relia, I probably won't use her immediately, but let's see what their uh, skills are. Um, and they're especially effective and obviously the transmorgified. Uh, almost descent. Now, here's the thing that's interesting about this. So, I did some research on the Japanese version and their kind of release time. So, a couple things I found out was first off, these characters did not come together. Funny enough, be and this makes sense because of when the game was probably released, Fiore came before the summer units. So, all those summer units we got, you know, in June and July. They didn't come till after her, but that's probably because when this game was released, Summer probably wasn't close by, so the order was a little weird. Also, Fiore was not on a banner with Relia on the Japanese version, so they are changing some stuff uh, up a bit. But I looked at the units that come after Fiore. I, I looked at the whole list, and the only units we don't have on the list that are coming next are the Bridal units. Um, and this is a list that hasn't been updated in a while, so... Odds are, think like maybe the end of January, sometime in February. It could even be the next banner after these two. We could get a bridal banner. So that's why I'm not going to go too ham on this like I originally said I was in my last video. I'm going to spare two, two multis, I think. You know, I say that and I end up spending everything. But I, I'd really like to just only spend two multis. If I don't get them, then I don't get them. Um, but we'll see if I can hold true to that. Here's their obvious it, it, it's so funny to me it's like well, it really is playable here but she really wasn't playable in her own game so that's very funny to me um and this actually makes more sense that they're coming together because they are from the same game so this is going to be kind of hard to read because it's very small but i will do my best um rush mode final dystopia obviously was removed from the game defense minus 40 percent to all enemies for 20 seconds that's actually really good so definitely use her rush first if you're going to use like all your rushes at the same time use her rush first so that way all the enemies are much weaker um power uh into like times was at 3500 uh percent in the 16 hits um battle skills are shadow needles ice needles absolute zero freeze and shadow the extinction um and we got the four talents being intellect plus 25 percent not flinching during symbol invocation and intellect plus 20 percent to party um obviously you're going to want to use a intellect heavy team with her if you're going to rely on her abilities um attack and intellect damage dealt plus 15 percent during three skill combo or more for a whole party and then uh fourth one is ap cost minus what is that 60 per I, I apologize if i can't really read this you know what maybe it's better if i look at my phone not my uh where I'm, yeah this is much easier okay so ap cost minus 60 percent during three skill combos or more symbol invoking time minus 30 percent um her overall stats are pretty good you know intellect is obviously going to be her highest stat because she is a casting unit she is an invoker 
Um, and 13,000 HP for uh, an Invoker at maximum break 10 isn't too bad. Um, let's look at Relia real quick. Uh, rush mode is freeze time, single target damage plus 30%. And recover 15% HP every three seconds for the party for 20 seconds. That's actually really good. So if you're if you're doing you know your daily missions, and because those missions can be kind of hard on your team. So if you let's say you get to the point where her thing is the first one to pop up, so you want to use that. So all the heavy damage you're going to be taking from those missions will obviously be reduced. Um, power intellect plus 2,500% and is a 10 hit move. Um, for battle skills, we got Enraging Fairy Light, Radiant Lancer, Brute Enlightenment, and Aurora Rings. Um, let's look at the stats real quick. 12,000 HP. Intellect is 2,400. That's pretty good. She has more defense, which makes sense because she's a healer. She needs to live a little longer than an invoker would need to. But looking over at the talents, AP recovery speed plus 50% at 100% HP for the whole party. Um... Talent number two is recovers 5% HP every three seconds for party. Uh, number three is nullifies AP recovery rate. Reduction field nullifies movement rate. Reduction field uh, self and short range weapons. And then the last one is symbol invoking time minus 50%, which will be really nice if you're running a lot of uh, spellcasters because you'll have those quick spell times. So overall, two very good units. Um, what's this down here? Confirm and draw odds detail draw menu. Was this a... confirm a draws odds and detail? Oh, it's just a, basically telling you where you can look to see what your chances are at pulling a character. Um, and then obviously we've got their five star weapons, which if you pull them, it might be nice to pull one of. Um, like I said, I really don't need to go too crazy because um. The team I'm running right now has pretty much carried me through everything I need to be carried through. If you look real quick, I usually just... I run with these three right here, and then I usually bring an attacker or an invoker, depending on the mission I'm running. Obviously, I want to get max level 20 equipment for everybody, but that's a process. So, uh, this is currently what I have to work with for my team. Which is why I, I really want Fiore, because she is one of my favorite characters from Star Ocean 5. Um, integrity and faithlessness, but she's not someone I absolutely need, especially since I can't limit break 10 her right now, so it's not really something that's a dire need right now, especially since there's a high chance I could end up just pulling her uh, from an ace ticket or just a ticket in general later on. But let's go ahead and look at the banner, see how diluted it is before we do our two multis here. Um, odds. Alright, if you are in Rally, obviously get that 1%. How many unit? Oh my god, there's so many units on here. Um, so yeah. So, obvi and see, like, Evelise is was just here, like, what, two or three banners ago? Regular Evelise, and she's already on here. So, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and hop into our first multi. Like I said, I'm only gonna really do two. I can basically do five if I really wanted to. But I'd really not have worried to have to spend that all right so i'm just seeing gold i'm still not a fan of you know an animation that basically tells you hey you're not getting anything um yeah so let's just go ahead and skip the whole thing because it's not necessary to stare at um if this second multi is another dead multi, I'll do one more after that. But then that'll be it, no matter what. Um, but hopefully the game won't uh, give me two dead multis in a row. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see if we can catch how many. I only see one, but that's okay. Hopefully we can get lucky here. Where is it? Okay, it looks like it's on the end there. So it may be the last one we see. I mean, I'll take all these units, obviously, because I need the Limit Break materials. Whoa. Have I pulled you before? Oh, yeah, I guess I have, but I don't remember ever seeing you. Ooh, we got Captain over here, Captain Steven. Oh, God, we got you, Shimada. Piece of garbage. 
I think that's eight. I think there's two more units. Yes, this is what I've worked so hard for. All right, moment of truth. Who is it? After me. Oh wait, no, that wasn't the tenth one. All right, now it's definitely the last one. Let's get to it. Uh, yeah, Arena, I don't really need you. I'll take those enchanted tablets. So, all right, yeah, we're going to do one last multi, and that'll do it. Maybe we can get lucky with this third one, but I usually do. Usually after I get a five star, it's usually another. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. Not a dead one. Come on, let's see more than one. All right, only one, but it's over there, so. Where are you going to be? Oh, well, first one. Okay, so this is our five star. All right, I'll walk away with this. So we got Relia. Very, very cool. We don't need to look at the rest of it because we already know what it's going to be. It's just going to be a bunch of those. Okay, so I will take that. Third multi gave us Relia. So we got one of the two new units. I didn't get Fiore like I really wanted. But honestly, there's going to be a Nurse Fiore that's going to come out eventually. And there's going to be a Halloween one. So not a big deal. And at the same time, also, she is going to be part of the general pool. So any ace tickets or regular tickets I get will be able to pull for her once this banner goes away. So I'm totally cool with that. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do one multi on the uh, this new one. It gives you guaranteed one of the new five-star weapons. Um, obviously, we want the little, uh, <laughs> this little teddy bear staff, but uh, we'll see what we get. So we're just going to do this one multi, and then everything else I'm just going to save uh, for the brides when they come around. Obviously a five star. Let's see if we can get more one. Okay, I see two So very cool very cool. All right, let's see So first one should not be anything. Yeah second one should be a five star though Okay, cool. We got the teddy bear wand uh, Dreaming bear. Okay, that's what it's called um, Let's just go ahead and skip this as well Okay, cool, cool, cool. I got the Dreaming Bear twice, so that means I'll be able to have it at level 12. Um, I am totally fine with that. Um, don't really need to do anything else when it comes to that. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get her uh, leveled up. Uh, actually, let's look at her real quick. I want to see what her heal does. I want to see if it's a multi-person heal or if it's just a single-person heal because I didn't really pay too much attention to that. Um, so let's go to status enhancements because I'm going to level her up anyway. Um, let's see if we can find her real quick. I mean, it would probably be easier to just filter everything, but... Uh, you know, it's funny. You do all these pulls and you really don't get that many characters total. No, I didn't click on anybody, but alright. Thank you. Game. Alright. Sorry about that. I didn't actually mean to click on anybody. Okay, here she is. Alright, battle skills. Let's check this out real quick. Recover some of all allies' HP. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So she may actually be a replacement um, for Precious right here. I don't know. Um, so hers is 20%, and pre what is Precious? Let's look at her battle skill. Okay, yeah, it looks like she's better. So Precious may get replaced, honestly. Which is a shame because I worked so hard to, uh, you know, get her up there to where she'd be on the team. But that's alright. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Um, let me know how your polls went down below. And like I said, the bridal stuff could be coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. But uh, other than that, don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.